Oh, what's up guys? Justin here with the Rhino Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about some of the different ways that you can create surfaces from edges inside of Rhino. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so there's a lot of different situations where you might want to create surfaces in Rhino. So you might wanna add a face in here um, and then apply a material to it. There's a lot of different reasons why you might do this. But the tools that we're gonna be looking for in order to do this are going to be inside of the surface tools function. So you just wanna go into the surface tools tab right here. And there's a number of options over here that are gonna help us do this. So the first and probably the most simple is to create a surface from three or four corner points. All that is is to use an option and then click in here on multiple different points, whatever those points might be, in order to create a surface. All right, and so let's say we just wanted to quickly create a surface inside of the circle. Well, there's a tool in here called Surface from Planar Curves that you can click on, and then you can select a curve and it'll create a surface from that curve. So if you have an individual curve like this that's planar, then this is going to be an easy way to do that. So there's also a tool in here to create surfaces from two, three, or four edge curves. So what that's gonna do is that's going to allow us to select these different curves like this. And then once we select the last edge and this is closed in, it's gonna automatically add the surface in here. And so that one's also going to be helpful if you have something like this shape that isn't planar. So um, remember that the surface from planar curves was easy um, because you could just select the curves and then activate it. But notice how that's not gonna work with this curve because it's not planar, right? Meaning it's not flat. However, you can use the surface from two, three, or four edge curves and select this in order to create a surface from this object. So if you have something that's gonna go more like up and down, not on a single plane, then the surface from two, three, or four edge curves is gonna be a good option for you. And so note that you can also use this in order to add things like caps to objects. So, and this one's specifically going to be more of a surface from planar curves. Notice how I can't select this curve right here um, when I don't have a tool active because this is all kind of made up of this one object. However, if I wanted to, I could come in here and activate the surface from planar curves tool and it will allow me to select the curves that are in here. So if I click on both of these and I hit the enter key, notice how it's gonna add a surface right here after I hit enter and a surface right here. So it's gonna create two surfaces that are in here. And notice how with this object right now, right, if I select all of these and I look at the details, notice how it's just telling me that it's um, a number of surfaces. However, and it's giving me information for each one of those. However, if I was to select all of these and just type in join with uh, the edge, with the middle part and then the two caps selected. So if I type join and then look at the details in here, notice how now it's gonna tell me it's a closed solid. So now this object is solid. So you can use this in order to add ends and solidify objects inside of Rhino. And then let's say we have a more complex series of shapes, right? So up till now, we've been talking about just kind of like a singular flat surface. However, um, if you have something like this one right here, this is gonna be a little bit more complicated because what I want is I wanna create a surface, right? That runs across these two edges and so the bottom and the sides here are really easy, right? So we could use the surface from planar curves on the base in order to create a surface. And then we could use the surface from two, three or four edge curves on the sides like this. However, if we actually wanna add geometry running across the ends like this, we're gonna have, have to use a different tool. And in this case, we wanna use the tool loft. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the loft function in here. So I'm just gonna select loft and then once I've done that, I'm gonna select my two curves, right? So I'm gonna select this curve and I'm gonna select this curve right here. I'm gonna hit the enter key. And so that's gonna pop up a little window right here for loft options. And notice how this is actually doing this backwards, right? So it's basically adding a surface where the lines are running from here over to here. And so basically all that means is that means that it's not really aligning these properly because we should be drawing a line across here, across here, across here. So all you have to do in order to fix that is just go into align curves. And we just want to click on the end right here. So notice how when we do that, this then takes this and it adds this in here properly. So it basically was saying, okay, this one, this is the start and this is the finish, but over here, this is the start and this is the finish. And notice how if you click on these, it's going to swap them back and forth. So if you ever have an issue like this, you can just click on this other end and then hit the enter key in order to finalize this. So we're gonna click on okay. And so that allows it, allowed us to quickly create a surface in here. Notice this will also work for flat shapes. 
So let's say I wanted to create a surface between these two curves. I could just come in here and just activate loft and then select this end and this end, and hit the enter key. And again, notice how we need to realign our curves like this. But once we do that, notice how this works really well. This allows us to quickly create a surface inside of these curves in Rhino. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions, if you're struggling with any of this. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.